You know what? Let me not hit a singing bowl this time around. Miss Tulip, come say hi to the fans. Come say hi to the people. You have so many fans, Tulip. <laughs> I hope this makes you smile, and I hope you have a fabulous reading, y'all. I love you so much. Hello, hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for September 2021, darling. I also did your monthly reading, so be sure to check that out for the month of September for you, Taurus. But remember, when it comes to my tarot readings, they're just here for some food for thought, perspective to consider today, darling. But so if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to support me. So, enough of my babbling, girl. Let's just get into your weekly tarot reading, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you for this week. Let's see what we can expect. Let's see how you're feeling, darling, right? Actually, yeah, let's see how you're feeling, and then we'll get into all the other fun details, honey. So, you're in this place of planning, Taurus. You have the two of... Uh, wands here so you're in a place of planning figuring out what it is that you want or what it is that you need to be doing next in your life Taurus right I mean when you look at the two of uh, wands this individual <laughs> speaking of wands darling let me just whip out mine <laughs> with this two of wands here this the theme that, that all two of wands share is that it's usually an individual holding the world or a globe or some you know it's all talking about the emphasis of big planning uh, for you, Taurus. You're in the state of planning, trying to figure out your next big move, I feel. So, let's see if we can get a couple more cards, though. King of Wands here. And then the Ace of Swords. <sighs> yeah, so you guys are thinking about doing a big change in y'all's life, Taurus. I really do feel as if you're thinking about switching things up majorly in your life. Uh, with this King of Wands here, uh, this showcases to me of you ready to, ready to be taking action in your life, Taurus. And with this Ace of Swords here, it shows to me like you're kind of having this desire of like, uh, how would we say, um, breaking out of the norm, right? It does feel as if, you, <laughs> girl, I'm not going to be one of those tarot readers, Taurus, now um, that <laughs> starts singing to you the songs that come to mind. But um, I do get like the cliche, uh, breaking free from Ariana Grande, darling, uh, for you guys. So take that as you will, Taurus, right? Um, but I do feel as if you guys are really interested in doing some big changes in your life i won't be surprised taurus if we see a tower card stepping forward for you but yeah overall you're just in the state of planning so let's continue on with this uh, let's see how this week starts out for you we have the three of swords coming in oh girl this is not a good start darling hold up now let me get a couple more cards king of swords following in the sword nature taurus don't you know you're an earth sign honey why are you getting all these air cards and then you have the sun card coming in as well all right all right so definitely uh it does show to me and makes sense as to why you're in the state of planning taurus is because with this three of swords here you guys recently experienced some type of disappointment in your life because you experienced some type of disappointment some type of you know some people some tarot readers will say like a heartbreak or what have you i just like to keep it pretty general right when it comes to just disappointment darling it could be going deeper but obviously you'll know with this king of swords here though i do feel like there was a very it's interesting how you you have the king of swords right under the king of wands here for you so very much so uh taurus whatever this disappointment happened in your life this really is the cause of like what is like spur spurring this change or this inspiration this uh, motivation for you to cause change in your life taurus because with this sun card here under your ace of swords it is showcasing to me uh through this disappointment through this uh, change of alignment almost like a hanged man moment as well that i'm seeing here um in your life you had some type of hanged man change of perspective experience taurus and because of this um 
you know, this caused for radical change, radical thinking on your end. And I see this new uh, thought process that you have with this Ace of Swords, darling, right? You going out into this new breaking free, breaking out of the mold, changing things up in your life. That's where the Sun card comes in, darling, under this. Uh, so I do feel as if it was necessary for you, Taurus, to um, be in this place where you needed to experience this disappointment because I feel it's almost, it's like the sense of like you aren't going to leave the next or you leave this some type of situation without uh towards this disappointment happening to kind of give you that final push shall i say so let's get uh some more cards let's continue on with this we have the king of cups darling girl if you get the only king of that you're missing is your own suit taurus you're missing the king of pentacles which is earth energy we have the king of cups here Girl, if I pull the King of Pentacles now, we have the Three of Wands as well, Taurus. And then you have the Ace of Wands. Girl, this is such an interesting reading. You're pulling, uh, you're pulling, I'm, I suppose I'm pulling all the cards for you, uh, but you're pulling all the uh, different types of flavors for the Aces as well as the Kings, darling. Back of the deck is the Queen of Wands coming in here as well. So for you, Taurus, I do feel as if whatever this change leads for you, it's almost as if you're starting to Scorpio almost. Uh, I was kind of going in this narrative with Scorpio for a while for some of their weekly readings in the past recently, Taurus, where I was telling them to start living their life for themselves. I feel like you actually can start identifying with this as well a little bit, Taurus, in that same message of where we have with the King of Cups here, Three of Wands, it's like through this progression, like, and I feel like it's going to be pretty quick. So why while at the current state and time for you, Taurus, you may feel like you're taking some type of big risk, obviously, when you're doing a lot of changes in your life, breaking out of the mold, there is going to be risk involved. A lot of things involve risk, darling. That's just called life, right, Taurus? Uh, but with this three of uh, wands, as well as this ace of wands coming in here, I really feel as if, again, like you really needed to have like this realignment with that three of swords. You needed to have that disappointment happening in your life because I do see you with this change up, like you're very quickly going to start seeing results that are very fulfilling for you Taurus with this three of wands here and the ace of wands this is just like a direct correlation where it's just like once you start uh leaning into this like let me give, give you guys a narrative Taurus right I see for some of you guys especially with all these um based off of these cards I wouldn't be surprised for some of you Tauruses very much so interested into uh going all in on some type of project and um and maybe it's like a project or something that you personally have wanted to do for quite some time, but you've always put it off on the back burner because you just were always living your life for other people. You were trying to help out other people, right? But you never made time for yourself, Taurus. And so I feel like for some of you guys, some of you, you may be taking this time to take off work. Uh, because I do see that for some of you guys, like you have like this desire of like, um, being done like overworking yourself or over stressing yourself if that makes sense four of wands coming in with the uh, moon card coming in as well yeah this is very much so giving me the sense of where it's like you don't know where it is that your destination is going to be taking you Taurus but you just want to be going anywhere from your current state of being uh, so I just feel like this is just like the next correct move for you guys in your life I do feel as if this is a very good change of pace for you Taurus whatever this drastic change is darling like this is definitely essential for you this is definitely going to be extremely fulfilling for you and definitely reap a lot of strong powerful benefits for you um again this just feels like it's going to be like this sense of like unknown very much so giving the, me this sense of where it's just like some you Taurus is like no nah, I'm not telling you to do this darling this is an analogy keep in mind Taurus but it's like some of you guys maybe feel drawn to like quitting a job with no backup plan you're just like you know what i'm tired of working the nine to five i'm tired of going to school why am i even going to school uh you know it's like because i actually feel like that's actually for some of you tourists like you're you're in school right now or like you're doing something that uh maybe is setting you like you think is setting you up for a promising long-term future but it's just not doing it for you right now and so you're just like you know what let me try going all in in this own, your own personal project right and let me you know maybe some of you guys you want to start opening up an etsy store of some type you want to do 
I don't know. I just get very much so motivated energy um, and doing some type of project, doing something where it's just about yourself. You're not thinking about anything else. You're just like, let me just see if this works. What's the worst that can happen? I fall flat on my face and then go back to doing what it was I was doing prior. You know, I feel like that's kind of where your perspective is right now, Taurus. So let's get some insight through these Oracle cards, honey. Let's see what Oracle card steps forward. Moon Oracle. You have the gibbous moon coming in here, so you're very close to achieving your goal. So Taurus, definitely, 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 this change of pace for you is definitely the perfect alignment for your life's purpose, I feel. So for those that are like feeling a little bit self-conscious, darling, uh, about wanting to do a big change in their life just know that this is actually like exactly what you need to be doing right you're setting yourself up for success which i like this a lot for you taurus and then you have the weasel card coming in here be silent pay attention and simply observe with your eyes ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you taurus so you're definitely receiving signs and it shares the same message as the uh, three of wands as well taurus so where it's just like it feels almost as if like through life events that have happened to you recently that's kind of been like the wake-up call for you Taurus and being like you realizing that you need to change things up you know maybe this through swords isn't about like one specific thing in general but it's just like you know just through life events um happening if that makes sense like I don't feel like it's directly even related to like your nine to five job or like you going to school or anything maybe that's not where the disappointment happened maybe you just had like a wake-up call you know maybe like you watch i mean again as in another analogy maybe you had a friend or someone recently that you know pass away and you're just like realizing it's like life is too short darling life is too short to be working that nine to five to be going to school for something that you don't really have that strong passion for right and so i see for many of you tauruses you guys just kind of calling it quits in that regard and i'm not going to stop you guys from it because i am going to be honest i think that's the best choice for you guys right obviously live it do it responsibly darling right remember this is just some tarot cards and that can kind of uh take away the nuances of everyone's life you know very much so and this is a lot easier to just speak in matter of fact but yeah i definitely see for many of you tauruses like a change in pace is in your future darling and it's through this change of pace that really starts setting you up for success rather quickly like even though it's initially a risk taurus like you're gonna be seeing results you're gonna have that fulfillment coming in so quickly that it's not even gonna really feel much of a risk anymore if that makes sense so now Taurus let's get into your spirit guide messages now let's see what's going on there let's see what your spirit guides your ancestors darling your guardian angels let's see what they have to say let's see what's up with them darling we have here the seven of swords coming in here I already have a hunch about what this is going to be talking about to be honest four of swords Taurus what did I just say how you girl did y'all forget your energy darling I'm giving you a hard time but it's just like you're getting nothing but like sword energy sword and fire energy seven of cups as well coming in here so for some of you Tauruses I feel like uh you guys have had are stacking like too much on your plate six of swords in the back of the deck Taurus all right girl come on now uh you guys are definitely stacking too much on your plate currently um and it's through the sense of you feeling pretty overwhelmed you trying to take everything on in yourself like you're kind of just it's like you realize that you need to do a change in your life but at the same time you have so much on your plate that you don't really know your attack plan for this and you don't know how to really handle this situation here because it's just like um you know there's just so many moving parts in your life uh coming in here so how do you resolve this temperance card coming in here and the four of cups coming in as well so the thing you have to be worried about taurus or just be aware of rather not worrying about it um is this in this dynamic is where it's just like for some of you guys you may be in this situation taurus where you're just like you know what you keep on telling yourself you're just like i'm gonna do, i'm gonna like quit my job i'm gonna do whatever once i see a sign once I see a sign but you remain patient until you see that sign only problem that sounds fine and dandy Taurus but the only problem is you're not seeing the signs that are being presented to you or the very least you're choosing to ignore them and I can't help again but feel as if Taurus that the signs coming in for you guys is more so through life events happening that kind of put things in perspective for you I don't know if you guys are just not being receptive towards that and like having that like take account or if it's just like the, again the sense of where it's just like you acknowledge that you need to change things up you acknowledge life is short you acknowledge you need to do something new but um because you just there's 
just like maybe so much that lies on your plate. Um, it's just like this sense of like paralysis by over analysis. Ten of Wands this is what's going on with you, Taurus. I don't think we've pulled a single pentacle card for you, Taurus. Again, it, it literally doesn't matter. I'm just noticing it on a personal level. Ten of Wands here. You are feeling exhausted. You definitely need to lessen your load here. All right. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. They share the same similarity where it's just like you're putting too much on your plate, honey. You know, if you were to get a pentacle card, it would be the two of pentacles, darling, where you're juggling around with too much, Taurus. So you really need to be thinking this week on how you can start clearing your plate a little bit Taurus is the only thing I really want to suggest to you other than that you guys are really living in your alignment which makes me really happy for you Taurus so I celebrate y'all for that now darling let's get into uh, how people are perceiving you for this week Taurus how are people perceiving you and let's see what their intentions are darling All right let's get into the tea with that there we go now we have an eight of pentacles coming in here we have the tower card. All right, girl. <laughs> I did say the tower card was coming. Uh, and then you have the hermit card coming in here as well. Eight of Swords in the back of the deck. So you feel trapped in this situation when it comes to this person. I do feel as if you know this person. And I feel as if there was some type of commitment here with this person at one point in time. I feel like you even talk to them still. and But you're at this current point in time like emotionally distancing yourself or detaching yourself from the situation Taurus if I can kind of call you out on it no shade whatsoever Taurus you know it's your business do your business darling you have your reasons but I do feel as if like you're starting to really just emotionally detach from this person even though like you may live with them or like there's some type of, I do feel like there's some type of connection that you guys share um but there's I don't feel as if it's family though for most of you Taurus I mean it could be but I would feel like it'd be a very small percentage of you Tauruses I feel like this is just like something that you committed to at one point, but you're interested in kind of just like cutting it off, right? So I guess you can cut off family, so... You know, I take that back, I suppose. But with this hermiting energy, it's very much so where you're just like in the, with this situation here, where you're just like, you don't want to deal with this person anymore. And I feel like I even had a similar message with that for your last week's, week's reading, Taurus, but I may be wrong. So, um... Let's see here. Let's get some more cards. How are you going to be handling this situation? Or how are they going to be handling this situation? Six of Swords, Fountain Girl. This is really just a direct sign, Taurus. Maybe this is literally what it is you've all been ignoring. Kind of just biding your time with is with this connection. Seven of Wands here. Yeah, you guys, I feel as if for many of you Tauruses, you haven't wanted to hurt this individual's feelings. And being like, you, and you kind of just saying, it's like, hey, doll, this ain't working out for me. This just ain't cutting it anymore for you anymore. But you're afraid of hurting their feelings. Yeah, Five of Pentacles coming in here. You're worried about hurting their feelings, Taurus. And I guess I can't give you a hard time about that, but you need to start thinking for yourself. You need to start thinking about your own personal future. Queen of Pentacles in the back of the deck, right? The Queen of Pentacles, while she's not at all a mean queen, but she prioritizes herself over everyone else, which is something that everyone should be doing, in my opinion, because as long as you're a good person, the things that you do for yourself is not going to be affecting other people logically, right, Taurus? Uh, but yeah, uh, before I close out this reading for you, um, Taurus, let's get into what Ms. Barbara Walters has to say here with the quote that y'all be taking that y'all will be taking for this week you have my vibes speak louder than my words so for some of you Tauruses I feel like this is kind of just like a call out of where I feel like for some of you guys especially in the, if it's about the social dynamic where it's just like you become like it feels almost as if like the longer that you wait out and regardless of the situation, the more of like resentment that you're going to be exuding, right? And so p other people are going to start feeling it. Um, this is very much so where I feel like your mood is even going to be um, directly impacting how your day just goes. And I know that sounds weird, but it's just almost as if um, if you choose to just constantly expose yourself to a situation that just isn't very fulfilling, you're going to think about it, you're going to be pissing yourself off, and then it just your whole day is ruined so easily so effortlessly Taurus and so you know remind yourself your vibe speaks louder than your words so even if you're not speaking your truth darling it's very much so coming off to the world darling so just be aware about that 
nothing but tours. That is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you. Hopefully you found some cards that resonated with you. Um, if you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to check out your monthly reading. If you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com, next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that just being Simply Velka Honey. But I love you so much, Taurus, and I will connect with you hopefully sometime in the near future. Bye.